Queen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a eagle flow. So we are going to start in Gomukhasana, uh, kind of a way to get the legs prepared for our eagle pose, um, as well as just help warm up our hips, everything like that. So we're going to start uh, right leg on top. You notice I've got my knees stacked on one another. If this is too much of a stretch for you, you're finding that your knees just up here and you're crunching all weird, you can do this in ankle to knee pose um, or double pigeon. One of my favorite ways to warm up is in this position. Again, it opens the hips, um, but it's a nice gentle opening. Gets prepared for some of the deeper stretches. So choose whichever leg position is most comfortable for you and come to a uh, sitting tall. So really grounding your sits bones into the earth. Wave the spine up long, lifting up the crown of the head and inhale here, reach arms up. Exhale, hands to come to heart center in Anjali or Namaste Mudra. Now from here, we want to inhale low into the belly, expanding everything, feeling it warm and wide. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Exhaling through the nose, really lifting in and up that breath. Inhale here. Exhale. One more inhale here. And this time as you exhale, just twist to the right. Now we're facing our top leg, keeping our spine nice and long while we are doing this twist. Feeling that stretch probably in that top leg. Hopefully it feels good. And this time as we exhale, you're going to release the hands and gently start to fold yourself over to the right. Now you do want to keep your hip, especially your left hip, grounding to the earth. So you're not coming up, lifting up off that hip. So grounding the left side down, really twisting towards the right. And getting a bit deeper into that stretch. Perfect. Now walk yourself back to center. From here, you can take your legs out in front of you, do a little windshield, sitting windshield wiper of the legs. And we will switch sides. So now left leg is going to come on top. Again, you can you don't have to do the full Gomukhasana uh, pose. You can come into your ankle to knee or double pigeon. Again, it's a great way to stretch and warm up the hips as you work towards this. And if you're working towards this and your knees aren't quite together, that's totally fine. Just let gravity do the work, let it do its thing. But coming into that tall seated position, again, grounding into the earth with your sits bones, waving the spine up long, Extending through the crown of the head. Inhale here as you warm and widen your belly. Everything expands and then you exhale, squeezing everything in and out. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Really channeling our mula bandha breath. Ujjayi breath sound as we exhale. Our victorious breath, which we're going to want for this practice. And on the exhale here, twisting to the left. Now notice we're doing a seated spinal twist. But we're not using our arms at all. All of the power is coming from our obliques, from our side body, from our deep core. still activating that breath while we're doing this twist. One more inhale here and exhale as you fold yourself over to the left. Now again, we're facing, twisting to the left, or I guess it's more of a side body bend towards the left. So we're facing the earth, we're getting that good Twisted side body stretch here, grounding into the earth with our right hip. Letting our hips start to stretch out, getting warm. And walking yourself back up into center. And last time. 
on here, a little windshield wiper of the legs as we make our way now from here to our hands and knees. So grounding into the earth with your fingertips coming onto your strong palms, slight bend in your elbows as you press yourself back into your downward dog. Weave your spine long here. Pedal out your feet, starting to warm up the backs of the legs, your calf muscles. From here, you're gonna slight bend everything towards the earth. Wave yourself to forward plank. Come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Inhale here, we're gonna lift the right leg high. Exhale, knee comes to chest. We'll do one core plank, so hold it there for a moment. Step your right foot to meet your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend the back knee, roll yourself. In and up, coming into a high lunge. Finding that balance, inhale here, prepare. Exhale, you're gonna come to fist of fire lunge. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale. This time, inhale, lean yourself a little bit forward. Really ground into the earth with your right foot. And exhale, knee lifts up so you're in kind of a mountain pose with your knee bent. We do a fist of fire, I guess, step up maybe. <laughs> inhale back, exhale, step up with your fist of fire. Inhale last time, and exhale. Very nice. Now from here, we're going to jump into our eagle pose challenge. So I'm going to face you so you can see it. So we're grounding into the earth with our right foot. We have our left foot lifted. Find your balance. Left foot is going to cross over your right. Uh, your legs can stay here just touching, or you can wrap your left foot around your right calf. Inhale here. Arms come in front of you about 90 degrees and wrap them in front of your face. So right arm, your elbow is under, left elbow on top, arms can just touch or arms can wrap. Inhale here, lift up and exhale. Start to sit back into your eagle, Woo. finding that balance. So sitting back onto the heels as you fold your knees or your elbows towards your knees. Holding this balance for one more breath. Inhale, unwind everything, reach up. Exhale, come to forward fold. Wave yourself back and forth. Noticing the difference in the right leg already from one tiny little move. <laughs> and bend your knees, roll yourself back up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna sit back a little bit. Left knee wraps over again. Now you can go back into that eagle balance and hold it, or for a fun challenge, sit really low. Hands are gonna just stay at Namaste in um, Anjali Mudra. Sit really low and now twist to the right. Sit even lower and plant your hands onto the earth. We'll try an eagle leg twist. Balance. So, grounding into the earth with our fingertips here, gonna lean yourself forward until your elbows catch your legs. So finding a good balance for the legs here can be a little tricky. I've got my left elbow um, on my left knee and my right elbow on my right hip. So finding a good position for where your legs meet your elbows. And you can stay here on your toes or once you find that balance, just lean yourself a little forward. Heart is extending towards the ground and knees lift up. Exhale. Very nice. Coming back to that forward fold. Inhale here, wave long spine, folding a little bit deeper, planting your hands onto the earth, stepping yourself back to plank, onto your knees, lower through that chaturanga. Inhale, prepare, rolling in and up, and exhale, back to down dog, very nice. Pedaling out the feet again, and trying that super fun eagle challenge on the other side. So bending your knees, Left leg lifts high, exhale, step it through your core plank. Left foot meets left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bending the back knee. Roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. 
Inhale here, exhale, fist to fire lunges. Exhale, one last time here. This time you inhale, reach a little forward, really ground into the earth with your left leg. Exhale, do a fist fire leg lift. Inhale, step back. Exhale, last time here. Exhale, very nice. Holding that, again, I'm gonna face you so you can see what we're doing for our eagle challenge here. So we're balancing on our left leg, really grounding into the earth, right leg crosses over left. This time, we will wrap opposite arms. And see if you can just fold yourself, sit a little bit deeper. And unwind, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Very nice. Wave yourself back and forth. And bending your knees, rolling yourself in and up again, grounding into the earth with your left foot, lifting up all the way from the ground through all of your deep core muscles along your spine, wrapping the right leg over the left, sitting back so you're sitting more on your heel, not too far forward. Again, you can just have your, oops, um, <laughs> have your legs touching or wrap your foot all the way around. Now from here, you can go back into the eagle balance and hold it again. Or if you want to try this balance challenge, hands come to heart center in Namaste Anjali Mudra, twist to the left, and then bring your hands down to meet your floor. You'll probably have to sit on your feet a bit uh, lower in order to get here. Now you can twist the other direction too um, to do the balance. We're doing a bit of a twisted eagle uh, side balance, if you will. So we've got our eagle legs. We're gonna find a good position for our legs to rest on our arms. So again, we've got hips and knee balancing on the elbow. You can stay here balanced or lean forward, really lifting in and up through your spine and your core muscles to lift your feet off the ground. And exhale. Ooh, very nice. Coming into your forward fold. Give yourself a uh, pat on the back for a challenge well done. That is not easy. Definitely something to build to. For now though, we will come back into our plank, lowering through our chaturanga, inhaling in and up, and back to down dog. Fantastic, so pedal out your feet here. Catch your breath if it's gone anywhere. Walk your feet forward. Come to a nice seated position here. We'll walk ourselves all the way back to the mat. One quick abdominal challenge before we call it a day. So back to our eagle position. It's a little bit easier when you're not trying to balance on it. Right leg is gonna cross over left. Again, you can wrap your foot around or just keep it next to each other. Right arm is gonna come underneath. Inhale here, exhale. Lift in and up, shoulders come off the ground just to tap knees and elbows together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. Do three more. And back to the floor, don't relax quite yet. Now we've got to switch sides. So left leg is on top, left arms underneath. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift. Just two more, like I said, a quick ab challenge. Last one, excellent. Extend all the way up to the floor, big body stretch here. Hug your knees into your chest. And plant your feet on the earth. Windshield wiper your legs. You can do a bit wider windshield wiper now that we're reclined. Take any additional stretch that you need from that. I know it's not easy. We challenged balance of our legs and of our arms. So good job. That's hardcore. <laughs> Take this time to relax. Just let your body sink into the mat, onto the floor. Taking all that energy and power with you to the rest of the day. Do hope that you enjoyed that practice. I hope you found it fun. Hope you found it something that you can work towards. Do you want it to be a little bit challenging? So 
Uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you get updates every time there's a new video. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I've got exclusive content for you there. Namaste.